The first presenter is uh, Dr. Daisuke Uraguchi. The title of his talk is Catalysis of Chiral Amino Phosphonyl Salts. Okay, please. Thank you for the introduction, Chairperson. Um, first of all, I, I would like to appreciate to the Bio Life Science Foundation International for continuous support for the, this MBA area award. The opportunity is very, very um, precious for me, so I would like to thank them. And it is my great pleasure and honor to be here as a first, first speaker of this um, prestigious symposium. And now I'm a little bit you know, um, scaring about the showing our chemistry, but also I'm, it is very, I'm very pleased to uh, give a talk as a first speaker because after finishing my talk, I can um, purely enjoy the remaining excellent talk <laughs> without wondering about my talk. Okay, let me start my scientific presentation. Since we established our research group in 2006, we have been interested in the chemistry of ion pair. Specif oh, specifically, the controlling the reactive anion by using chiral cation motif. <laughs> controlling by chiral cation. Um, Anionic species is uh, one of the most fundamental reactive intermediate. So the con if we can control the reactive anion precisely, um, we, we could prepare the complex organic framework um, very easily. But it is obviously not easy at all. Oh. <laughs> you can imagine th th this kind of ammonium salt is a rep representative um, color salt catalysis. And these catalysts uh, have been um, widely applied to the um, very wide variety of the highly stereoselective bond formations as a catalyst. These results clearly indicate, um, demonstrate the power of the ion pair catalysis, but unfortunately, um, the detail of the stereoselective um, bond forming step is almost unclear because these catalysts are used usually under biphasic conditions, so the analysis of the key intermediate or transition state is very difficult. And in addition, oh, in addition, in contrast to the covalent bond or coordinating bond, the ionic interaction is a purely electrostatic, non-orbital oriented interaction. So the distance and direction between cation and anion is highly ambiguous. So it is rather difficult to understand the three entire structure of the ion pair, especially in solution state. But we, we are very much interested in the power of the ion pair catalysis, so we decided to initiate our own study by using the um, homogeneous condition instead of the perfect condition. And, in, and also, we designed this kind of color cotton having a hydrogen bonding donor site in expectation of the formation of this kind of ion pair, where the chiral cation could interact with um, pairing negative counter ion by hydrogen bonding and ionic interaction to form the structure of the ion pair. If we can give the structure to the ion pair by using this concept, we think uh, we can um, we can increase the possibility to develop the effective chiral cation catalysis. For that purpose, we designed and synthesized the, this kind of piece power type amino phosphonyl salt and intramolecular type ion pair, ammonium betaine, as our original uh, catalytic molecules. Today, I would like to show you the brief summary of our chemistry regarding amino phosphonyl salt catalysis. And here is the representative structure of our amino, our amino phosphonyl salt. This molecule has a structural rigid 5-5 p spar cycle core structure, rigidly constructed from the color 1-2 diamines. And this substituent on the diazophosphocycle of this molecule uh, can be easily modified by changing the parent amino acid or guanine reagent uh, used during the synthesis for con um, designing the three-dimensional structure around the color cotton. And as, as I mentioned, this more, most important point in this molecule is the hydrogen bonding donor variety. As you can see in this OTIP diagram, two NH protons 
um, cooperatively um, capture this chloride counter iron. Another interesting feature of this molecule is that we can deprotonate from this NH proton with appropriate base, such as potassium dioxide, to form the corresp corresponding um, conjugate base, immunophosphorin. This molecule is no also known as a P1 phosphorin, which developed by Schwesinger um, as an uh, organic superbase. Another interesting structure feature of this molecule is a spiral um, chirality. And this particular molecule has an M spiral chirality, and a pseudo enantiomeric immunophosphorin can be selectively prepared by using the um, N partially methylated diamine as a precursor. And these molecules are the key players of, for our chemistry. For initiating the study, we um, attempted to determine the formation of the reactive ion pair having the uh, reactive um, nucleophilic anion. For that purpose, we selected the nit nitrocan as a precursor in expectation of the formation of this phosphonium nitrate as a structured ion pair. Here is an enamel chart, protein enamel chart of this salt, and each proton signal signed into the appropriate position. An important point is that these NH protons are located around aromatic region because of the cation character of these molecules. And this position is clarified by using the deuterated amino phosphonium salt. Then, upon treatment with potassium dioxide, this molecule is converted to the this kind of unsymmetrical compound. The loss of unsymmetric nature of this molecule indicated that the formation of this C1 symmetric immunophosphorin, and also we can find the um, huge upfield shift of NH protons. This again clarified by using the deuterated compound. Then we try to add nitromethane to the solution of this immunophosphorin. Then, um, Again, this NH protons um, back to the aromatic region, this indicated that the formation of this phosphonium ion, and also, most importantly, we can detect this singlet here. This finally assigned into the CH proton of nitronate. So we can um, observe the formation of the reactive intermediate in this case. Encouraged by this result, we quickly try to apply this intermediate to the sterile selective bond formation, we selected the Henry reaction as a model reaction. Indeed, our catalyst is found to be very, very effective catalyst for the Henry reaction, and high anti and enantiomer selectivity were observed for a wide variety of aldehyde. And since Professor Shibasaki developed the first catalytic asymmetric with Henry reaction in late 90s, and various um, chiral catalysts have been developed, but most of the cat cat catalysts is only effective for the production of a cyan duct. So by taking advantage of the, our unique anti-selectivity, we quickly applied our system to the synthesis of very simple but biologically relevant molecules. And recently, we succeeded to extend the formation of the phosphonium nitronate to the stereoselective conjugate addition. For example, we can introduce nitroalkane to the, this kind of binary form to form this kind of compound. This compound is, uh, can be converted into the, this kind of non-conjugated color nitroalkenes by using Julia Kosciansky reactions. Um, because of the difficulty of the direct alienation of the nitro nitronate, we think this process is um, Nice, nice alternative to synthesis this kind of molecules. Then we turned our attention to the um, stabilization ability of the hydrogen uh, and our stabilizing ability of hydrogen bonding. This kind of dialogic phosphide is no, um, frequently used in the PC bond forming reactions. And in the all of the reactions, this kind of phosphide totemer is regarded as an active species. But the contribution of this phosphide totemer to the disequilibrium is very, very low. So no one, uh, have, no one can detect the formation of this phosphide totemer. But we expected 
if we can stabilize this kind of reactive intermediate by using hydrogen bonding, we can detect this formation of the phosphonium phosphide. After several trials, fortunately, we can indeed um, get this kind of protein emmer chart. This indicated that the formation of phosphonium phosphide. The most important point in this chart is the huge difference in chemical shift between the parent dialkyl phosphide and resulting phosphide anion. This, in, this difference indicated that the formation of this kind of phosphide for an anion of phosphide form. Then we turned, um, we interested, next we interested in the reactivity of this intermediate. Then we applied this intermediate to the hydrophosphorylation of the carbonic compounds. Importantly, this, um, interesting, this molecule has a very, very high reactivity, so we can use, if we can use um, previously problematic less reactive ketone as a substrate. Recently, we turned our attention to the, further um, turned our attention to design of hydrogen bonding organized transition state. For example, the register activity in the conjugate addition to the electron deficient diene is usually problematic because the um, electron deficient diene has a two similarly reactive reaction site, so the nucleophiles should discriminate two of them. But uh, by using our amino phosphonium salt, we can assemble the anionic nucleophile and the electrophile to the appropriate position to form this kind of cyclic transition state, then by using this power, we can realize highly residual and diastereo and the natural selective conjugate addition to electron deficient triene or dienes. The hydrogen bonding donorability of our amino phosphonium salt allows us to find a very unique phenomenon. When we attempted to exchange this chloride anion by organic anion, we isolated this compound, supramolecular type ion pair. In this ion pair, two non-ionic phenols are captured by ion pair formation on, by a hydrogen bonding network. We, be, uh, we, was, we were very much um, interested in this structure and excited um, by having this structure, so we quickly um, applied this molecular assembly to the stereoselective bond formations. Then we found that this molecular assembly is indeed very, very um, if, uh, selective catalyst for the conjugate addition of azelactone to electron deficient um, um, olefin. Most important point in this reaction is, the, is that the structure of the panel is responsible to the stereoselectivity and for obtaining this kind of high stereoselectivity, we need to use this phenol as an additive. So we believe this kind of supramolecular type molecular assembly is a key intermediate in this reaction. Further study regarding on this, um, this phenomena revealed that the stepwise character of this molecular assembly mode if you are the, we are the um, phenol, one equivalent of phenol to immunophosphorin, we can selectively generate this simple um, phosphonium salt, and the addition of another equivalent of phenol gives this one to one to one type molecular assembly. And further addition of the phenol allows to have this kind of supramolecularly assembled uh, molecules. And this stepwise formation of the ion pairs uh, can be determined by using p satyrinum analysis, and eventually we we succeeded to have three-dimensional structure of each ion pairs. More importantly, each ion uh, molecular assembly um, can, can be used as a unique catalyst for this conjugate addition. So by applying this uh, catalyst, we obtained different reaction results. The hydrogen bonding donorability of our amino phosphorus salt can be uh, evolved into the brain set acidity for the activation of the non-ionic molecules. The, the motivation for developing this kind of molecule for us is the interest on the ionic and uh, difference between ionic and non-ionic brain set acid. For example, Professor Jacobson um, developed this kind of chrysin rearrangement by using the ionic brain set acid and they propose the unique, uniquely effective 
Uh, this kind of vanadium salt is uniquely effective in this reaction. They propose that the, this kind of ionic, inter ionic branched acid is very um, uh, effective to induce the polarization to the substrate. So we're pretty much interested in this kind of um, unique uh, catalytic performance of this ionic salt. We develop, um, synthesize this kind of two kinds of molecules by simply changing this axial colority here. These molecules are found, uh, finally found to be very effective for the conjugate, heterocondrogate addition to nitrolefins, and heterochiral catalyst is effective for other micro reaction and homochiral and cat synergistic catalysis of homochiral catalysts and organic based alloys to have this kind of um, thionitroalkene as a product. So in conclusion, we have developed a um, series of highly stereoselective bond formation by using our original molecules having hydrogen bonding donability for controlling the reactive anions. And through, do, through these studies, um, we succeeded to correct some information about the ion pair catalysis. Okay, all scientific work was um, performed under the guidance of the Professor Oi, so I would like to appreciate to his continuous support for our study. And certainly, all experimental work was done by our team members, so here I would like to really thank to there and them. Uh, but for their continuous effort. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you for a wonderful talk about policy.